waiting on Seven Day Wonder to be led up to the gate. Seven Day Wonder moves in and they're in line. And they're off. All coming away to a good start from the inside. Hudson Hornet goes for the early lead. Along with Lucky Pisano along the rail, that's Al racing and now moving into the lead as they head into the first turn. It's Al by a length and a quarter, followed by Hudson Hornet racing second. Back two lengths to Lucky Paisano, then a gap of some four to Fapamoto. On the outside is Fool's Hat, followed along the rail by When I Do, a Seven Day Wonder, and Young Melody. Heading into the turn, it's now a duel between Al and Hudson Hornet on the front end. Three back to Lucky Paisano racing third, then a gap of some four lengths to When I Do. Racing in front of the stands, it continues to be a duel on the front end between Al and Hudson Hornet. They now have a five-length lead over Lucky Paisano, followed by When I Do, Fool's Hat, and Seven Day Wonder. Coming out of the turn to race up the backstretch for the final time, Al has put a half length in front of Hudson Hornet. A gap of six lengths back to When I Do, moving into third on the outside being challenged by Fool's Hat. Heading into the final turn, it's Al with a one length lead over Hudson Hornet. Showing some run now is Fool's Hat beginning to close the gap, ready to take a second. As they come out of the turn, Looking for the finish line, Al continues to lead by some four lengths. On the outside, Fool's Hat has moved into second, but it looks like Al's going to hold on at the finish line. It's Al by some five lengths. Seven dollars. And the 158 trifecta, $289 even. Now entering the winner's circle, number one, Al. Owned and trained by Gary Duke. Ridden to victory by Mike Hazaris this afternoon.